In this problem, we're told to find the weight of a 68 kg astronaut, A on Earth, B on the Moon, C on Mars, and then D in outer space when traveling with a constant velocity. So before we solve this problem, let's go ahead and write down what we're given. So we're told that the weight, uh, or the mass, the mass of our astronaut is going to be 68 kilograms. So we know the mass is 68 kg, and then we're also told uh, the acceleration for each of these. So we're told it for the moon, we're told for Mars, and we're not given it for an outer space on Earth, but it's not told directly, but it's implied. So I'm gonna separate or write the acceleration for each of these, and then we'll use them in each problem. So I'm gonna write A sub E, which is just basically the acceleration on Earth. And we know the acceleration on Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. And if you don't know that, I think you should memorize it because it's important for solving these problems. But the acceleration on Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. And then let's do B, so on the moon. So I'm just going to call it A sub ML. So the acceleration on the moon, they tell us, is 1.7 meters per second squared. Then let's do on Mars. So A sub MA equals uh, 3.7 meters per second squared. And then D is going to be in outer space. So I'm just going to call it A uh, sub O. And so acceleration in outer space, when you have a constant velocity, is just going to be zero. So that's something you also have to know. So if you're in outer space, just know your acceleration is going to be zero meters per second squared. And then finally, they're asking us for the weight. And so when they ask for the weight, they're basically just asking for the force. So weight is just the force. So we're trying to find F, which is the force. So I'm going to write F equals question mark. And so now we can go about solving it. So let's go ahead and start with A. So what we're trying to find is the force, right? So we know that force equals mass times acceleration. So we know we're given the mass. We wrote down what it was. It's 68 kg. And then if we want to find the force at that uh, or on whatever planet or where we're at, we just have to multiply by the acceleration of where we're at. So if we do A, uh, our force, so F, equals the mass and so the mass isn't going to change uh, throughout all of these so it's going to be 68 for all of these so that's our mass and then we just have to multiply by the acceleration uh, on earth so which is just 9.8 so force equals 68 times 9.8 if you go ahead and do that you'll get 670 and so keep in mind that this is going to be measured in newtons so it's going to be 670 newtons that's going to be your answer for a and so when you solve these, make sure that your mass is measured in kg and your acceleration is in meters per second squared. In this case, we're given it, uh, both of them in the correct units, but if they're not, you're going to have to change them into those uh, because the way we measure forces in newtons, and it has to be these units uh, to do it that way. So let's go ahead and move on to B, though. So we know force is going to be equal to the mass, which is 68, times the acceleration. Uh, and for B, they're asking on the moon. And so the acceleration on the moon is 1.7. And so if you multiply that 68 times 1.7, uh, you're going to get 120. And then, and then uh, this is Newton's, right? I'm just going to write it as N this time, though, but just know that it's Newton's. So B is going to be 120 newton, uh, Newtons. Let's go ahead and move on to C, though. So C says on Mars. So we're calculating the force again. So our weight doesn't change, or not our weight, our uh, mass doesn't change. Uh, so it's going to be 68, and then... The acceleration on Mars, we they tell us is 3.7. So 3.7. So 68 times 3.7. Uh, it's going to be 250. Once again, I'm going to write N. So it stands for Newtons. So C is 250 uh, Newtons. And then let's do D. So force equals the mass, which is 68. And so we're in outer space. And so acceleration in outer space is going to be 0. So it's just 68 times 0. Anything times zero is zero. So it's just going to be zero and then newtons. So for D, we're going to get zero newtons. And so these right here are going to be your answers uh, for A through D. And so, yeah, that's how you solve this problem.